Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. Can you yeah. hear me? Hear me? Hear yes. Me. You guys put on like phaser effects and stuff? Post. So, post production. Post. Yeah. It's not yeah. live. Uh, oh. Whoa. I have a beat. Who said it? Who was yeah, it? Yeah. What was that? I'm the sound. Oh. Well, I don't know what these buttons are, actually. How'd you do that? Grant, what is that? Can you hear me? Bah, bah. I don't uh, think I can hear. hear. Guys? Where are I you? Can't hear, I can't hear Casey. Hey, Grant. Where are you? Uh, I hear Casey. I can't hear me. Uh-oh. I can't. Grant, can I'm phasing can out. Can you say something? <laughs> can you say something, Sam? Nope. Hello. So Wait, look. who did that? <laughs> who did what? That was so good. That's how the I devil sound. Noise. That's how I sound. William, time to atone for your sin. Yes, Father. Don't call me Father. Don't gender Satan. <laughs> yeah, be a boy or a girl. I am the black womb from which all pain emerges. That sounds like the... What is that? A guy made of oil in the fairy cartoon? Here we go. Oh, there's Grimm. Early 90s. What yeah, is that called? Yeah, Fern Gully. Fern Gully. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Yeah, it sounds kind of like him. Yeah, that guy was fucking scary, dude. Yeah. You know who else was scary? Hmm. Mm. Shere Khan from the Jungle Book. That nasty mm. tiger. Dude, I just went to the immersive Disney experience with my niece. Yeah. And I was crying the whole time because I was so moved at how much fun she was having. And then Shere Khan came on and I was standing by the door alone, like kind of weeping and no one knew I was with her because she was just running around. And Shere Khan came on and I went, ooh, Shere Khan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to myself. <laughs> and there was like a couple Disney parents in masks next to me being like, we got to call funny. the cops. <laughs> Where is that experience? It was in Detroit. Detroit. Mm -hmm. Where your friend Daniel's from. Brown Daniel. Brown Daniel. You met him. Brown Daniel? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was here. Oh. Brown Daniel? <laughs> yeah, he was here. Yeah. We were You're not talking about Brown that. Daniel, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah, I know Brown Daniel. <laughs> I know Brown yeah. Daniel. <laughs> yeah. We were talking about Brown Daniel on the way over here. Look yeah. at Shere Khan. Oh, dear God. Oh, are we underway? Are we doing this? Are we even doing this, Brant? We're doing this. Oh, my God. Hmm? No pressure. I can't even hear anybody. Do you, do you guys seriously not hear anything in the headphones? Oh, here we go. We'll check. One, two, three. That's me. That's what I One, sound two, like. Three. See, I don't hear that. Casey, what do you... I can hear Sam. Do you guys hear me? Yeah, of course. Well, I can hear all of you, actually. Okay. Okay. William? I can, I can just turn up all the volume. I hear William. The levels. What about me? There he is. There. Hi. He was missing. Yeah. Okay. I had pesto for breakfast. No. You always... With pasta? I had ravioli pesto breakfast. Oh. Mm. Mere, a mere 30 minutes ago. Hey, yum, yum! You better knock this bragging shit off right now. <laughs> That's not why I'm here. You got a ravioli fridge. Because <laughs> ravioli's in the fridge sometimes. I have ravioli in the fridge. Where else? Where do you keep your raviolis? In the glove box? <laughs> in the cabinet. In the cabinet. <laughs> if it's chef, if it's chef Boyardee. That's then you have it in a can. He's doing bag ravioli because he knows how to keep his money safe. I'm like you, <laughs> who blows it on novelty T-shirts. Stop. This was eBay. This was a $600 shirt from eBay. Yeah, I know. You told me. You showed me the screenshot. <laughs> you're like, look, I'm doing very well, Sam. Don't worry about Willie. I'm kidding. That's I how didn't... you talk off mic, and then you're like, oh, shucks. There's, okay, don't be bringing that nose. up. Oh, hell. My feet are filled <laughs> with pickle water. Uh, don't bring that up. I have a certain persona I'm trying to come across. <laughs> you're really I won't. I'm sorry. For me. I won't. I apologize. That looks eerily similar to the ravioli breakfast that I had. Yeah, that's because Grant was in your home. <laughs> He's Grant. filming you. He's always yeah. there. <laughs> he was in the bowl. Yeah, <laughs> yeah never-ending ravioli bowl. And I get fish. Oh, there's five more raviolis. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the Wunzler from the Lorax, just yes. dropping wet ravioli. Thank you for using a literary reference. William understands. <laughs> <laughs> it's he like green egg and ham. He only yeah. understands references when he looks like the character. <laughs> 
You look like the Lorax, bitch. <laughs> Grant, tell him to stop. <laughs> Please. Yeah, yeah, Grant, try me. Yeah, you, you need to cut it out. I'll fill your bowl with ravioli. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. That's yeah, it right. really will. And I, I already ate that ravioli. It was, I'm talking, it's poop. Doo -doo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poop bowl. Yeah. yeah. I haven't doo dooed yet today. Have y'all? Let's see. You done? I had one, yeah. I did it 2 a.m. Yeah. You did? Yeah, so technically today, yes. Yep. Was the toilet? We were talking about this last night. Do y'all think it's easier to see doo doo in a white toilet or a the black toilet? <laughs> oh my god! Toilet? So at Rogan's <laughs> Club, Janice had to go poop, and I was like, "Oh, I love the toilet. It's black. I love pooping in a black toilet." Yeah, <laughs> but that's not for good reasons. You can see the poop better, or something. Can you see the poop better? <laughs> Me, you think? can. <laughs> no. I think. What color so. is your doo doo? White. Mm, bright white. Oh, cool! Like a dog in the yard. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah. How come the doo doos don't turn white anymore? The dog doo doos. Because they're not bleached by the sun. Because now we have strict rules to clean up your dog doo doo. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's. What I remember people are always doing with the bag. Petrified. Mm -hmm. Look at this, William. <laughs> you look like the Lorax. <laughs> the Lorax. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to picture what the Lorax looked like. Well, here, let me hold up a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's not fun is uh, in in uh, in Europe the toilets they don't have water in them. So you're just blowing raw <coughs> on the porcelain, and yeah. then you have to flush, and your mighty American mounds don't dissipate when that water comes. So it's just it's just jammed. Yeah, what if you have a blowout? Every now and again, I have a blowout in there. Bro, I had a blowout nasty when I was in Venice <laughs> yeah. because I ate a bunch of squid ink pasta. Ooh, Because whenever I go to Europe, there's just an old woman in the kitchen who sees me, and she's like, excellent and she just like experiments on me <laughs> and brings me things that you know they would feed to the dogs but i eat yeah. them and i'm like oh molto bene oh. you know yeah i bow it's not good <laughs> uh yeah but i ate the squid ink pasta and it totally dyed my stools black damn so i'm just in there trying to get rid of this evidence before my wife arrives uh and i could not due to the lack of water and it's just black it's just the negative nether void in the bowl was she worried before she arrived in the bathroom well, I, because she has to, we share the toilet. Oh, We're not like yeah. you, Casey. We don't have separate rooms, so we can leave room for whatever God you believe in. <laughs> God. I'm not taking your shit today, Rocket. I know, I know. Sam's right. not taking anybody. Uh, <laughs> I took mine, yeah. and I hit it, and I threw it out the window. <laughs> yeah, and I haven't been able to, and then you're bringing up Shere Khan. You know that scares us. Hey, man, don't dance with the devil if you're not wearing the right shoes. Fair enough. Sketchers or <laughs> LA gear. I always like the uh uh those buzzards at the end of that movie. The yeah. English English accent buzzards. They mm -hmm. were pretty cool. Which I think represent colonialism. The buzzards? Yeah, because they circled around wherever uh where where is that set? I always assumed it was in Africa, but it has to be like old India or Pakistan. Yeah, I think old India. Yeah, the the yeah. Old India. Yeah, the southern Indian <laughs> steppe where those tigers exist. Yep. Yeah, it's bang, gotta be single tigers. Yeah. Very good, Casey. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Learning every day. <laughs> yeah, Europe, they, they don't have the infrastructure for American loads like that. Dude, they do not. Yeah. No, because I come over there and I'm depositing. So, so what? When you flush, <laughs> the water is coming down. There's just not water in the bottom of it when you start? Yeah. No, it's just raw porcelain. <laughs> What it's is up it, to just you. a hole it's, inside you know, I call thing? it. I call it a blank palette <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> that I can create upon. My brother Vance used to eat green snow cones, and his duty would be green after those things. So that could be cool, maybe eating snow cones and then going to the bathroom. I or keep asking Vance if he'll go to Europe with me. What's he saying? He says he's busy. He's busy with his Frisbee team. Yeah, well, he just had a kid, and he's they're doing really good at Frisbee. So. Is Vance the one who you showed me that fun footage of back in the day? <sighs> what was the when footage? When he was in the hospital gown? Oh, no, that was my brother Selden after he died, and yeah. they brought him back to life, and he was in, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, it's like, your go-to, that was your fun, like, conversation starter for a couple months yeah. in Denver. Yeah, when I moved to Denver, yeah, I could show people, yeah, my little brother Selden, he got QB sneaked <laughs> in a fraternity party, and I'm like, Selden, what is getting QB sneaked? And he said somebody put a Xanax in his drink, and then he passed out in the in the main area of where the dorms were and then he passed out in his room and the mm -hmm. a roommate called the paramedics and they 
he died in the fucking ambulance. But then the next day he went to a Moe's Burritos in, yeah. his, in his gown. Uh-huh. <laughs> and somebody took a picture of his fucking ass in the gown of the Moe's Burritos. Welcome yeah. to Moe's. <laughs> <laughs> what a whimsical way to describe attempted date rape. <laughs> the QB sneak. <laughs> yeah, the QB sneak. Look, Sheldon, it's fourth and one. All right. We need this one yard. And he's, he's been sending me pictures of his guns. He got an AK-47. That is the logical progression. Yeah, you go got from an AK-47. frat wombat over there in Tennessee <laughs> to just gun-toting madman. I know. Yeah. Do you have a gun? Oh, yeah. Do you really? Yeah, I'm a realist. I exist in this world of ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. do you have a pistol? No, man. Shotgun? Yeah, shotgun. I got that shoddy. <laughs> and it goes brody, brody. Oh. Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> You like gelati? Because I'm making it out your body. That's what happens. Oh, damn. Yeah. Can you guys call me Danny White? Yes. That'd yeah. be cool. Grant. Yes. See? You weren't listening, yeah. were you? Grant, turn off the candy crush. You're getting paid <laughs> yeah, yeah. four grand an hour to be here. <laughs> playing Bloons Tower Defense over there. Yeah, what are Sick you playing? Master. He's on E-Bombs World. <laughs> oh, my God. Do the soundboards. I'm, I'm sorry. Do we want to call him Danny White now? Yes. Do you need a label? Please. Okay. I kind of defy labels. <laughs> I agree. I just prefer artist. Artist. That's sweet. Yeah. I was showing you my brother's picture. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was trying to just make friends when I moved to Denver. Brother, I fell in love with you immediately. Well, you're sweet. I fell in love with you. I also fell in love with Old Rocket. I rescued both you young pups. <laughs> Look at them now. I put you guys in my little burlap sack, and I said, you got to get out of Boise, Rocket Man. <laughs> This is before you were fucking popping and wiggling, you know? Uh huh. Before you fell in love with Grimace. Yeah, this is pre wiggle. Yeah. yeah. What were you like? Pre popping. It was mostly very different. Bu- mostly business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Most, I won't lie to you, mostly psychological business. Yeah. yeah. Seriously? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like psychological warfare, but strictly business, yeah. commerce yeah. commerce based. He was very stern. Yeah. Yeah. He'd get up on stage and introduce himself to everyone in the crowd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He would say, do you like creating opportunities? As do I. We should connect. Damn. Wasn't that funny, but just the twinkle in his eye. I'm like, you yeah, knew. this guy's got it. Really had a flair for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I said, however long it takes, yeah. I'm going to get to all of you. Yeah. So I'd run the light a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was supposed to do five on a show with me at Liquid Laughs. He did an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Casey. Yeah. And it was all business cards. Yeah. yeah. Is that why you're always like, we have three more hours? Yeah, I'm used to like the time scale. <laughs> yeah. of, mm-hmm. I'm yeah. getting it now. Yeah. 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 Oh, so cool. So what? That was a lot of handing out business. A lot of <laughs> business cards would be handed out. Yeah, there's a lot of handshake deals and like, I'll see you after the show. Yeah. Got they'd it. be like, No, yeah. you won't. Yeah. Please leave me alone. <laughs> Not a chance. Yeah. And you'd be like, I live in your head. <laughs> Wait, Samson, what were you doing at Boise? I was up there trying to get my uh, housewares line off the ground. Really? Yeah, yeah. What is it, this? Uh, what would you even call those things? Well, you know, like Bakelite? Yes. Yeah, so it's like... Bakelite repair, <laughs> Bakelite replace? Yeah, kind the of. The commercials? Yeah, so um, like La Crusade is like a very high-end kitchen, uh, you know, utensils. Ceramic. Ceramics, yes. And I wanted to have that for the working man. Cool. Yeah, so like, you know, if you're just a guy living in a trailer and you want to make chili for your kid's weekend... You come to me. You get bakewares off me. What is it called? It was if somebody called, wants to look it up. Well, it's difficult to find it because okay. I never, I never maximize the search engine optimization. Yeah, the SEO. Yeah, but uh, I was trying to get it uh, labeled. I went to the patent office, of course. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, and I was trying to get it labeled as. Um, was that in Washington D.C.? No, no, it's actually in uh, Springfield, Missouri. So weird. That's where the Simpsons are from. Well, it's it's the very middle of America, so they want to keep the patent safe. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, in case the nuclear war happened. That's yes. where all the people in Shark Tank go. Yeah. yeah. It's like Fort Knox, but patents. <laughs> patents. Yeah. Is there I mean, like a fence around it? Wall of wall patents. No, no, it's more of like a, it's it's like an electrical grid. It's like a field. You know when you put a shot collar on a dog? Yeah. Or like when you guys would have gushers in the top cabinet and your mom would be like, Willie, you get on out of there. I remember. It, it isn't your grandma's birthday. You know? <laughs> I remember. Yeah. She was uh, living with us for a couple of years. Yeah. She, was, she wasn't really living. <sighs> if I, the way I remember okay. it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys would just slide ki- cold cuts underneath her door. Yeah. You're like, Grammy, time to feed. I shouldn't have been showing you those pictures. I showed you too many pictures it's when crazy. I moved to Denver. It's- I shouldn't have showed you the pictures of me feeding her. I can't believe you breastfed for that long. Stop, man. I have a... I'm trying... 
And him and his mom and aunt would switch off babies. Oh, I know. You t- here, do this one now. Do uh-huh. this one now. Yeah. I mean, you could talk. You were saying, Years. Auntie Carla, can I get the left titty today? <laughs> and she'd be like, Please. Willie, you've been good. You've done your ciphering, boy. You get in here. And he loves milk to this day. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, Willie, you put that shovel down. You've been digging long enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I imagine your childhood, just a series of holes. <laughs> yeah. Would... You're a little boy with a beard with your shirt off, <laughs> just digging and wiping sweat off your brow. And then trying your to mom get to would... water. Yeah, trying to get to water because <laughs> the milk had long gone bad. Yeah, I need my water. <laughs> Time yeah. for a gusher. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, I forgot you told me that your parents, when you were growing up, they were always having you try to solve the Zodiac ciphers. Right. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. yeah. It's an ad- admirable cause. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got pretty good at it, but never <laughs> finally finished. And that's not your fault, you know. It, it was didn't complicate. Yeah, it was tough. I mean, I remember when I figured them out. I was like, "This is easy," but I'm like super smart. When did you figure those out? Nineteen. What was that? It was the year the Olympics were in Tokyo. So I think 1998. Yeah, 98. Yeah. Nagano. Uh huh. <laughs> that was really during Nagano. Yeah, that's why no one covered the news. Yeah, because nobody... everyone was talking about bobsledding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nagano. Yeah. Nog, nog, Naganoan. Oh. Is that what the people would say to each other, the athletes? And I don't know because I don't speak traditional Japanese. I speak like the Empire's Japanese. Mm. That's a different uh, shogun. Yeah. Shogun, shogun, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's cool. You guys, ever gone through, <laughs> you guys ever gone through a period of like uh, admiring samurais? Yeah, when I was playing Ghost of Tsushima last Dude, year, me I was too. a fucking samurai, <laughs> and then I started playing it again this year because I was sad that it was over. Yeah. Are they going to make another one? They put, like, a DLC out for it. Yes, with the other I- Iki Island. Easy, dude. Iki Don't... Island. Yeah. <laughs> I would always say it, Jamaican. <laughs> to who? Oh, Iki By Island. Yourself. Yeah, allowed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Well, he, he plays in the Chamber of Mirrors. And he would do one voice to this side, another voice over there. Yeah, it looked like, like he was infinite, talking. It looks like an infinite number of mirrors. Yeah. I've mm-hmm. seen it. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. It's where he lays you down in his marital bed. Mm-hmm. And he says, sleep tight. With, I'll be upstairs. With the mirrors. Yeah. Yeah, dude, I was reading I was reading Shogun, and I was playing that game. So I was just, like, immersed in samurai culture for, like, two months. <laughs> you were samurai down. I was very honorable, dude. Did you beat the game? Yeah, I did. Did you get all the different costumes? Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. fun accessorizing. And the different hats. I've always wanted to dress up a Japanese fella. Me too. Yeah, that brought my... Oh my gosh, and life. then you see his butt every time he goes in the hot springs. That's right. And then you try and pause it, but it's tough because your dick's in your hand. Yeah, you yeah, can pause it. It's really hard. <laughs> I wasn't hard enough, but... He is fit looking. He does okay. It's all that walking around. I know. It's all that fucking getting out there in the cherry blossoms and raising a little hell. Yeah, that was a good game to take an Adderall and just slowly uncover the entire giant map. That was the best part. Just going back and forth on the horse. There's the man's There's the man's bottom. Oh, there it is. Grant, you found it. Look at that butt. Not bad. Someone Why is his uh, upper rib cage area so swollen? It looks like he got bit by a wasp or something. That was yeah. a big part of the game was fleeing from wasps. Yeah, it, was like, <laughs> it turns out like this weird sci-fi mystery yeah. kind of game. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, with Wasp next to the Japanese maples. Beautiful. Dude, totally. Such a beautiful game. I know we're not here to talk about the aesthetics of gaming, but that was the last game I ever played, and I don't know if I can go back. So, like, his butt is out and stuff. What do you Is he, like, in the sauna? What is the game So happening? what are you doing here again? You're making a poem or what? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, are you are reflecting? You're reflecting. You have two options on what you can reflect on. Yeah, you can oh, reflect good. on honor or valor, typically. Yeah, look how wet he is. And it looks like he's blasting in that photo. <laughs> yeah. it looks like he's ascending slowly <laughs> into a boy's mouth. They kept boys. It looks like his front is a butt. It does, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was all God. butts. <laughs> the power of media. Yeah. Oh, I'd love to see something like that. You could. I'd love to. Someday. William will actually, he'll rent you the game. How much? 30. 30. 30 what? 30,000 yen. 30 watt? Yeah, 30 watt <laughs> yeah. a week. 30 a watt week. A, 30, 30 watt a week. 30 <laughs> watts a week. That's fine. You got to keep the lights that. on. <laughs> Quite yeah. literally. Yeah, I will. 30 <laughs> watts. Yeah, 30 watts will light your place up. Yeah, I'll light your place up right now. 
Christian. Oh, oh, stop. Hey. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you got permits for those? Yeah. Yeah, Jeez, he you? does. I've seen him. Yeah. The Boise Brawler. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the old Missoula Mauler. Uh -huh. Yeah, big. Yeah, the scrappy guy. Yeah, I used to love fighting in my business suit. Yeah. Did you? Well, he yeah. had the back cut out, so he had like you know a lot of guys get they have to take their jacket off. Yeah. He had it slid up all the way to his shoulders. That's a good idea. And yeah. You can really have full range of motion. Yeah. And he's like, I got an IPO for you, brother. Pop him in the jaw. And this was in Missoula? No, this was in Boise. I only saw it in Boise. Yeah. I go NASDAQ. Uh -huh. <sighs> yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Fisher Price. So you got Dow Syndrome. <laughs> Dow. <laughs> Beat him so hard they have Dow Syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> Dow Syndrome. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the stock market's down. Bang. Oh, Casey, when you were hopping those trains all across mm -hmm. the mountain states, what was your favorite place to, uh, to get around the old barrel and warm up your mulligan stew? Rock Springs. Rock, Rock Springs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So majestic. Haunted library. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's where the haunted library was. Yeah. Mrs. McGill's. Yeah. Mrs. McGill's haberdashery. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Great place. Great rocks. Not enough hat stores in our modern lives. <laughs> no. No. Is that what a haberdashery yeah. is? A hat store? They make hats, yeah. Matt is a hatter. Haberdasher. Mad hatter. Because they would dash their heads against the rocks when they succumbed to mercury poisoning. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's where they invented hats, to keep the people who made them from smacking from their smacking. heads against the rocks. Yeah. Do you ever wear a hat? You know, I'm not allowed to anymore. Contract? No, because like <laughs> I used to wear this hat, and but it, instead of, it was the beer one, but I'd have two cans <sighs> of chili in there. So you'd just be drinking the chili? I'd just be surping silly, chili all day. I call it my silly chili. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I thought I needed it. I thought I needed it for like power before I went on stage. Like some people That's smoke scary. weed, some people do cocaine. I needed two cans of Hormel, just ready to go. Do you ever try Wolf Brand? You know what? It scared me. The yeah, that stuff is. Me. <laughs> it has that big wolf on it. It does. I don't want no part of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See? Uh, hey, hey! I said I can't do that anymore. I promised my wife. <laughs> I promised my wife on her deathbed. William got a damn hot air balloon on his head. I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's landing. <laughs> it's landing again. Have you talked about the, uh, the odd shape of your, your skull? Yeah, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. I think I have. Have you felt That's... it, Casey? Have you seen it? Have I felt your skull? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. 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 Yeah, I was showing Sam last night. I have this yeah. horrible, yeah, from when they yanked me out of Francis. Yeah. Oh, they she, used... she didn't want to let him loose. See, so you can kind of see so it. So he can never go fully bald. Did they use the it's... forceps? They, they had to have. use an eight sep to get him out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on a, now. There it is. It's at a taco. Yeah, you can kind of see it, I guess. No, you can't, cause your head just you just have to feel it blends into the background of Boise, Idaho. Kind of illuminated. Yeah. Is that Boise? <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the mayor's weather balloon. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's where he Perfect. operates from. <laughs> the mayor is, is, is he also the the yeah. meteorologist, sir? Yeah. Well, spiritually. In the in the spirit of improv, I'll say yes. But the fact that you think that meteorology and weather balloons are somehow connected is much more fascinating to me. Wait, does a meteorologist not they're not in charge of weather balloons? Godspeed. Yeah. They just go up for eight months at a time, like whaling vessels in the past. Wait, the <laughs> and epic. there's not a lot of space. <laughs> there's not a lot of space. It's no. just like a basket they're sitting in. Yeah, I know. Well, you'll never catch me on one. Brother, I do not like those. Mm -mm. Anything made of wicker, I say no no. Get out of here. Mm hmm Wicker Have man. Yeah, well, I can't stop drinking. Yeah. It's nice of you to offer me one as your guest. <laughs> Do you like the Ozarka? I just like to be included in a beverage option. That's all. Okay. Here I you... am. Ooh, yummy. Mm. Mm, thanks. Don't you like Oz Ozarka? I like not being an issue. <laughs> <laughs> like Who said people. anything about that? I don't know. William. Yo. Oh, thank oh, you, Grant. Oh, wow. Look, at Grant gives a shit about me, and we just met. We're not old friends. Interesting. Thank you, Gant. Yeah, no, it's Grant with a R. Oh. Yeah. Thank Gant. you, Grant. R. <laughs> what, Armin? What did you think it was? Gant? Gant, yeah. Grant. Grant. What is Grant? Grant. It's short for something. Cary Grant. Mm. Yeah. Cary Grant. I thought I recognized him. Yeah. Yeah. It's short Looking for Cary good. Grant. Yeah. 
He's in that famous Christmas movie. Wasn't Cary Grant? No. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're thinking of Cary Elways. Who is the lady the that did the nice Christmas song? She's like a country music scene. Dallas Parton. Dallas. Yeah, Dallas. <laughs> Dollar but Dallas. Cary mm -hmm. Underwood. No. Who said that? <laughs> Who, did you hear that? <laughs> Hold on. Is that Gant? <laughs> Was that? I don't. What's been going on in here? And that's my cue. I'm a, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean <laughs> God. <laughs> Grant. I'm sorry, Gant. I didn't mean to invoke your spite. Well, yeah, you never step. catch you never catch me on a weather balloon. No way. Or a hot air balloon. What is that? That's a hot air balloon. <laughs> I thought that's a weather balloon. No, weather balloons are traditionally much smaller. If you were on a weather balloon, they would need to call in the Air Force because <laughs> it would be a major human health concern. I'd have to have jackets on probably. It's probably cold up there. Oh, yeah. If you like hate jackets. Freezing. Yeah, I never would wear them in Denver. Okay. No. Really? No. Never. Uh-uh. He would wear a neck brace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the last, what, six months I was in Denver. Was yeah. Neck brace time. Mm -hmm. I was, people would be like, what's up with William? And I'd be like, don't question his methods. Yeah. Let the artist create. Let the dog eat. You know who I stole that neck brace from? Um, it was an old guy. Shannon Sharp? No. The no? football player? Yeah. No. We were really good friends in Denver, though. But I know. I was so jealous. I know. Because yeah. I wasn't even a big Broncos fan. I know. Up, yeah. You were a giant Broncos fan. And yeah, Shannon Sharp, he just started calling me one day. I know. He'd be like, well, I'm not going to do the voice. <laughs> but we <laughs> but all yeah, know. we would talk every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to rub it in all y'all's faces. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't you even didn't a big fan to. growing up. I didn't even really like the Broncos, but he just started calling me. Well, yeah, because you were trying to get your knives honed, and you called a diff you, you got in the phone book. And you were looking, you called someone named Shannon who had a sharpening service, but it ended up being Shannon Sharp. He was just in the phone book. Yeah, I was trying to get out of Cutco. Uh -huh. so he, he was like way too deep in Cutco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, William, I like your comedy. You, you got a big future in this game, will you? He would say it every day. I know. And I was like, I'm just trying to get out of fucking Cutco, Shannon. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get, how are you going to help me? How are you going to help me today, Shannon? You never get explained me out how he helped you, but... Comedy's the last thing on my mind when I'm in damn Cutco. Yeah. Yeah. When I owe thousands of hours to John Bonecutter, that literally was my boss's name for Cutco, John Bonecutter. I swear to God. No. I sold Cutco knives one fucking summer. I swear to God. Look, it's a family man. affair. We got yeah. from a long line yeah. of cutters. Oh, my gosh. It was so weird. We went to a putt-putt one night for a little outing for the people in the office. Bonecutter party of nine. Yeah. The children are running. <laughs> yeah. John. Whoa. Yeah. Spooky. There's not just one squirrel in this sack today, Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> and he has squirrels Ooh. living in his walls. I yeah, have animals in my walls. That? Squirrel they sound, update. They sound like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is going on? Are they still in the walls? Let's go to Rocket's Rodent Corner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the scratching's getting more faint. I think they're like, get, they're like trapped in there and getting weaker. I think it's like a Donner Party thing. I think they're stuck in there, so... Not excited to hear like kind of their last cries of desperation. And it's but been I don't, a couple of weeks, hasn't it? Or it's several? been quite a while. It's been like a month. It was very aggressive scratching when we first moved in, and now it's very faint. It sounds like there's just one left. Oh, Please. You're dying in there. Yeah, very spooky to hear. Then it's going to get smelly. Then it's going to get stinky. Yeah. What Yum. are you going to do? Well, the vents are already full of mold, so it can't get much stinkier. <laughs> probably just counteract it. My vents are full of mold, and I feel like it's making me smarter. Yeah, no, I've been like really, <laughs> I've been very intimidated by your like mind since I've seen you. My aura is out of this world. Yeah. And and brave. But not out of the squirrels. Yeah. A lot of squirrels involved. You can take the man out of the world, but you can't take the squirrels out of the walls. No, you can't. That's what I always Unless do. you have a very small digging device. <laughs> and Stanley Steamer. Mm-hmm. He could. Didn't it. you work for him as well? Yes, yeah, Stanley bone Steamer. Bonecutter, Stanley Steamer. Yeah, Bonecutter, Steamer. I'm pretty sure that John Bonecutter is just a character from Sutri. <laughs> yeah, you... what did you think about? I didn't like the ending, <laughs> or I thought the ending was fine on The Passenger. What did you think about that? And I still God. haven't read the second one. Bro, I was so bummed out about The Passenger. 
Here's my issue the with the passenger. It was so good. It was like it some was cool. throwback Cormac McCarthy where it had all these weird characters. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was like the such lady re- was schizophrenic. I loved it. Yeah, I didn't like those passages as much as I liked the brothers' passages. Yeah, they were fun. What was going on? The IRS was after his ass. Well, here's the thing, man. Everyone in that book has an IQ of 180. He's hanging out with street people and they're just yeah, talking about was physics. Really smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, it's like, what the right. fuck is going on here? I know. This I know. This guy's dad was like Oppenheimer's best friend, but yet he can talk to this like drifting card player from Knoxville and he right. just understands like, you know, the molecules of space and time. I didn't care for that. Yeah. Sutri was better. Sutri's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Sutri's so good, dude. He was better at talking to the normal people. Yeah. They would just be like drinking wine someone made in his hat. <laughs> yeah, it was awesome. William used to come over to my house uh, and he would stay over and we would just like be wasted and we would read the end of Blood Meridian to, to each other. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. yeah, y'all lived in that great place, yeah. like in a in a walled in thing, it felt like Little Chechnya. Yeah, yeah. that was great. Yeah, in the uh, in the grandmother's cottage. And you'd just come over, and my wife would be like, well, I'm going to bed. <laughs> you boys are having fun reading your weird books to each other. She'd be upstairs. You had to work in two hours. Yeah. Meanwhile, it was 4 a.m. He never stops dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I love that so much. Because it's beautiful. Oh, it's my perfect. gosh, it's wonderful. Yeah. You got to read it, Casey. Have you ever read any Corbett McCarthy? No, but I, I saw No Country for Old Men. Nice. <laughs> That's a good one, isn't it? It's, it's a good film. movie. Yeah. Coen Brothers. Who's that little stinker? Is that one of the Blood Meridian men? Is that one it's of fr- the... It's art from Blood Meridian. Well, well I, always, I always remember the illustrated Blood Meridian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that yeah. was so much better, yeah. From, from the kid's book version. Yeah. Very uh-huh. scary. It's like Ralph Steadman did it. So spooky. It is. Yeah, it's a weird version. It's like where the sidewalk ends. Yeah. Get, like all the different poems, but it has the picture on every page. And it turns out the sidewalk's always been going and will never end. That's what they say. Yeah, it's. A, I don't it, like to think of it like that way. But it's like an allusion to war. Yeah, I bought a hat. This is embarrassing. <laughs> I bought a hat that uh, is the. Uh, it's it's the lettering from the first edition Blood Meridian, and it says Blood Meridian or an evening reddening of the West. Cormac oh, really? McCarthy. Yeah, I just have that hat now. Cool. What is it? Like, <laughs> don't just say a, cool like that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wear it? <laughs> I have worn it. <laughs> well, that's fun. What is it, like a baseball cap yes, style hat? Yes, dude. It's a snapback. <laughs> Where'd you get it? It's the Cormac McCarthy subreddit. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, I'm subscribed to that subreddit. Yeah, dude. And I don't. I wanted to wear it out here to, to Texas, but my wife was like, hey, baby, don't, don't bring do the hat. <laughs> I don't think South by is ready for the hat. Yeah. <laughs> It would have been cooler if it was like a fedora. Yes, it would. That would have been. Have you ever worn one of those? (laughs) Oh, sure, yeah. (laughs) You know what's funny, dude? When I was in seventh grade, uh, I asked for um, a real big fish album for Christmas and a pork pie hat. (laughs) <laughs> and I had this pork pie hat for about three months. And then my uncle was taking me to see a movie at the theater. Yeah. And I left the hat in the car to go into a truck stop to use the bathroom. And when I came back out, the hat was missing. And I was like, where's my hat? And I was all bummed up about it. And like 10 years later, my uncle was like, I threw that hat in the trash. <laughs> you were a little fat boy. I couldn't have you out there wearing a bowler hat. <laughs> He oh my gosh! Yeah, <laughs> it was brutal, dude. Oh, were pork pie? Is it like a Peaky Blinders? Yes. Oh, yeah. so funny. Yeah. <laughs> Just imagine a 250-pound, 12-year-old boy, the big round face, <laughs> wearing a Peaky Blinder. <laughs> yeah, that's the hat. That's the hat that I had. Never what chose yes. his life. <laughs> Only mine's black with red letters. Oh, no, that's cool. Yeah. Are they ever going to make a movie out of it? How would they? Yeah, they couldn't. You know what they could do? They Super could make violent, a cartoon. Casey. They scalp Indians. A lot of scalping. Mm. Indigenous. Indigenous. Mm-hmm. Yes. We call them friends. Yeah. Cherokee um, friends. Cherokee friends. Yeah, it's very brutal. They kill babies. Um, yeah. Which is kind of fun. He just smashes two babies' Smashing heads against a rock. Rocks. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, mean, it's brutal. It's the best book America's ever produced. God, and what is the judge? Is he the is he the devil? Or is he some kind of oni or jinn? I hear Casey says jinn some. I Wait, what do you jinn. mean by when you say or that? Tulpas, tulpas. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thought forms, you know, mm-hmm. that yeah. are manifested in the physical realm. Yeah, is he the personified version of man's lust for uh for of manifest destiny? Or does he just represent war? What is he? 
We'll never know. Cormac's busy counting checks and getting pussy. He's not answering any questions. Yeah, how old is he? 90 something? 90 years old. And the only way you can get photos of him now is from like his son's Instagram. (laughs) So it'll be, yeah, it'll be like like a 25th birthday party. And it's like, you know, people playing like bags in the yard, like shotgun and beers. And the last photo is just like Cormac McCarthy seated on (laughs) a stool looking upset that he's outside. (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Yeah. Wait, so do you recommend the second book, though? What is the do not. the passenger? Do Does not. it just suck, kind of? No. I don't know, dude. Uh, he's clearly a genius, and I really have a hard time begrudging him being creative, but he's been living at the Santa Fe Institute for, like, the last 10 years, so he just thinks everyone is a genius because he only hangs out with geniuses now. Yeah. So everyone in his books speaks like they're, the you know, at the highest echelon of whatever, like, very esoteric science they study. Yeah. There's the Mac man. There he is. What's the Santa Fe Institute? Santa Fe Institute is in uh, Santa Fe, New Mexico, which is a state. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Too slow. Yeah. And um, it's just where a bunch of, like, uh, Nobel laureates and, like, uh, you know, uh, MacArthur Genius Grant people hang out, and they, like, bounce ideas off each other. MacArthur Grant, Synecdoche, New York. I just watched that. Movie. Yeah. Um. I was in Santa Fe, New Mexico, a mere matter of years ago, and my friend uh, thought that there was a skinwalker because uh, we were camping. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were oh. camping in the middle of the desert, and he was like, something's here. We have to leave. So we packed up and went to Motel 6. Yeah. Oh, Fe, my gosh. Yeah. He was felt it. Yeah, we were just standing there, and I was like, oh, this is, like, pretty cool. But there was no crickets, and there was, like, no stars. So it was just pitch black, and he was like, Something's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like well, we got to get out of here. That stretch of highway yeah. between Trinidad, Colorado, and Albuquerque is like the number one place to see skinwalkers. Really? Yes. Oh, My no. grandma's from Wagon Mountain, New Mexico. She's a little old cave Mexican woman. Uh-huh, and okay. she swore to God that there'd be skinwalkers constantly. What's just a skinwalker when you say oh. skinwalker. Oh, You're no. You're looking at it, bro. That's the one. <laughs> That's the photo. And that ended up just being a deer. Looks like Shere Khan, kind of. It knows you, I've ever heard of. Khan. Ooh. Oh my that's not God. a deer. The world's a circle. Oh, what is that? <laughs> it was a deer in motion, and that's like the oh, time lapse, okay. and it's like caught between frames. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, I know. I've gone deep on skinwalkers, mama. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I have a book on cryptozoology in my book bag. What's it called? Uh, is it per- the Encyclopedia of Cryptids? <laughs> Pursuing the Addendum by John A. Keel, the guy who wrote the Mothman prophecies. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I saw Mothman. I saw Mothman in either, it was it was either Southern Ohio or West Virginia when my band was on the road. Really? We were in the van and I was driving and my buddy Bonzo was in shotgun and swooping at like 4 a.m. right over the headlights was fucking Mothman. Huh? Really? I'll swear, I'll swear on anything what? you give me that you value and hold sacred that it was fucking <laughs> Mothman. It was big? It was a big boy. Oh. Big old wingspan. Whoa. Yeah. He did not prophesize. Yeah, I was just thinking the prophecies. <laughs> Isn't that the move? He didn't tell me anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. He just threw away. up the finger. Yeah, <laughs> turn around. Turn around. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <Spooky>. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's something like that. It was, that's how you were. You wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> hold on a minute. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Get on out of here. <laughs> how well do you know this guy? <laughs> I thought I knew him pretty well. Yeah. Oh, what? Hey, I'm pretty scary. Knock it off. I can be scary when I want to. I didn't come here to be spooked out. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> yeah, cool. That's what <laughs> Sam was doing to me right when we got in here. He was looking at my forehead. Yeah. Isn't that weird when people do that sometimes? Uh-huh. Have you ever known anybody like that that doesn't look you in the eyes at all, like ever? They stare at your forehead like a business tactic, how they tell you to do that. Do they Is tell that you to do that? Thing? Yeah. I thought it was a sign of autism. <laughs> It what do people be. say about that, or what do they, they say, say? Like, if you're nervous to stare at the eyes, they say, stare at the eyebrows or the forehead, they say. Right, yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. eyebrows, or that could be like right hard to tell. Like, right here is where you're supposed to look. Just in the middle? Yeah. Get both eyes. But we're both play. doing it now, so you can't, it, it's not like I'm going cross-eyed. <laughs> Remember when you used to do this move a lot, you go. <laughs> <laughs> What I? Yeah, that was like your big go-to when you'd be nervous in a conversation. You'd be like, oh, hell, my bus is coming. <laughs> yeah, I think I do. I got to get back to the foundry before they clean up all the biscuits. <laughs> a man's got to eat. Yeah, mm-hmm. I remember that, yep. sitting outside of Lion's Lair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just drinking whatever beers you found at the hobo camp out of your backpack. Yeah. It smelled terrible. <laughs> and that one backpack got stolen outside of... Fucking uh, 
Squire Lounge. If it wasn't that was built the saddest with day. Band, it wouldn't have been absconded. There was nothing in there. Yes, there was. Other than a notebook. Yeah. Well, it was your copy of the notebook on DVD. It was a copy of the note. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All my jokes are in here. <laughs> <laughs> I was devastated. I was like, this is a, that's a, everything's gone. I'm I know. Gone. We did that benefit show to get you a new backpack. You spent the money on That was hands. really sweet of y'all. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was like this you... three-day thing. Yeah. It's like a music festival. Uh-huh, yeah. yeah Rock for William. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. I yeah. remember that. Yeah. Back on the pack. That was so we got, nice. We got know. 311. I know. Shannon Sharp was there. Shannon Sharp was there, sharpening knives. Give me a <laughs> jersey. Everybody was so jealous. I was like, William, just introduce us to Shannon. And I refused. I knew y'all were big fans. I was like, we rented this naval vessel so we could have your little boat show. Just let me introduce to Shannon. That was nice. Y'all he did said, the boat. He's though. my friend. <laughs> he's my friend. Uh-huh. I'm not introducing you. I'm not going to share Shannon. And I didn't. You did introduce me to Sterling Sharp, and that was okay, I guess, but... <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace. Yeah, R.I.P. Look at him. That it's was buff. Yeah, that was what he sent you on your birthday. That was the photo. <laughs> How did you get that, Grant? That really is the photo yeah. he sent uh-huh. me on my birthday. Yeah. It's like, stay strong, William. <laughs> That's what he always says. We're gonna get you that backpack, it. William. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna find that backpack. <laughs> yeah. And when I think about it, we could have just got you a new Jan Sport for like twenty bucks at Walmart. Well, it was the L.O. Bean with my initials on it. Oh yeah. Well, it wasn't your initials. It was that weird thing you guys do in the South. Yep. Where you put your first name in the middle. What's that called? I don't know. What, a monogram? Yeah, you were a monogram, man. Yeah, but mine was straight up WFM. Was it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I didn't have the monogram. Is that what it is sometimes, the last I first thought, name? I thought I the know. first name went in the middle. I don't know. I didn't go to Cotillion like you did down there in Germantown. <laughs> All right. I didn't go to finishing school. Yeah, I did have to go to little cotillion things, and I'd always be so scared to ask the girls to dance. Yeah, because you'd have it's a like boner. like a fucking nightmare. <laughs> I got a boner. Yeah. Where's my <laughs> aunt? I'm thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> Get Jeannie in here. Wake her up. <laughs> Miss Jeannie. Yeah. You did go to cotillion? Yeah, my mom made me. And I had to go down to the Delta of Mississippi a couple times for these debutante things. Yes, you did. Because you were parking Kinda people's weird. cars. <laughs> yes. <LA> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. I was parking a bunch of cars down there. Uh-huh. Down in the Delta. I always wanted to go to a cotillion. Is cotillion like male debutante? Cotillion is like a school you go to to learn how to use forks correctly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh, it's like, like a fancy the, school? Yeah. Like, yeah, like G's to gents? Yes, probably. TV. Kind of like G's to gents. Yes, Casey. <laughs> that's that's yeah. more my speed. My speed's more G's to gents. Yeah. You learn like the fox trot. Uh-huh. You learn the stupid box dances. Uh-huh. I can't remember when people, I don't know. I went with like a bunch of buddies, so it was fine, but I don't know. Yeah. In elementary, five, fifth or sixth grade, seventh, I don't know. What? Yeah, it was only one yeah. year. I didn't keep going. It was just something people would go to. He's a yeah. snob about how to put okay, my I'm fork and knife i know and i was like and sometimes if i'm a little annoyed i'm like don't tell me you literally scoop and sniff your farts yeah. like well, I that's leave. what he learned there <laughs> yeah <laughs> you literally don't wipe your ass like don't tell me you literally don't wipe your ass literally I get in the shower oh yeah nasty oh that's a fun move Ugh. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you're one of the first people who's ever said that. Are I, you being serious? Yeah, after I make a people big People look mess. at me like I'm a pariah, but I'm just fucking shitting. Well, it's like, it. do I want to be wiping here for the next hour and a half? Well, that's what happened. Yes. Yeah. And then, yeah. then or I do you just getting in the shower. I say I'm going to the water park. <laughs> you get wet. Mm-hmm. And I lay on my back, and I pin my legs back, and I just get clean myself wet? out. Do, do I get, get my hair, hair wet? wet? <laughs> yeah, I do get my hair wet, but I don't use shampoo very often. Interesting. I'll use bar soap. When As hair. shampoo? Yeah, yeah I like bar soap. Is that how you get soap. all the volume? That's how I get volume because it doesn't take the oils out of there. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. And I've, I haven't conditioned since like 9-11. Really? Yeah, that shit's lame. The day of? Yeah. I was so day scared. I was so scared I had to self-soothe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm in no condition. Mm. Is that like or? <laughs> no, what was it? White rain? It was Tresemme. Mm. Ooh. Ooh la la. la. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Resume, da na na. Then you, ooh, ooh, la, la. you very ceremoniously poured it down the drain after you were done. I poured out one for tower one, <laughs> but for tower two, I took a swig for all the fallen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One Never for me, again. one for Jesus. Yeah, it's crazy. It hasn't happened again. Yeah. Well, Jesus promised it wouldn't, right? Yeah, yeah. he did. Yeah. yeah. He's always followed through. 
Yeah, if you believe in him, he does. So. Yeah. Yeah. But if you don't. Thank you for bringing him up. JC. Huh? JC. Cheers. Cheers. Remember when these used to be Bud Lights? <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, before you admitted you had a crippling problem. I know. Yeah, it got kind of bad towards the end of Denver. Here's the thing, man. I was I always think. so in love with you that I didn't care. And I was just like, this guy's a kook. You know, one of my favorite things anyone's ever done, what? if I can maybe sincere for a moment, Rocket, <laughs> I know I'm not doing any, <laughs> you know, so you don't, you don't get what I'm talking about right now. Is that a duck walking? Noise? I don't know. I'm not calling myself the crab man from Crater Lake or anything, you know. Um... <laughs> And I'll get to you in a minute. I'll be sincere with you in a moment. Oh, thank you. So, yeah. Uh-huh. The crab man from Crater. Yeah. I'm, I'm the bodybuilding half man. Let me roll around. You know? I've seen, I've seen your clips, Casey. Um, but I, when you remember when, remember when TJ Miller did that show? Yes. And you just walked up on stage and opened for it? Yes. <laughs> yes. It's the coffee shop. Yes. Bookstore. At Mutiny. Mutiny. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is cool. Were you not the opener? <laughs> he was not booked. No. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, he was not. <laughs> yeah, people were waiting. I think I was drinking a bunch of Fireball that yeah, night. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> I had a bunch of Fireball in my system. Yeah. And the microphone wasn't even on for the first five minutes or mm -hmm. something, and then they turned it on for me. Yeah, that's how good Which you was did. Sweet. I know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it that's made so funny. Sense I too. forget about that. Oh, that's I don't. Funny. Whenever people ask me how's William doing, I say he's doing good, and they're like, "What's he like?" And I say, "Well, besides the constant groping, uh, <laughs> yeah, pretty handsy. Oh, yeah, don't yeah. be telling so many people. Old honky handsy. hands over here. Yeah. Honk honk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just on bosoms, a bunch of." <laughs> Huh. Uh, you literally <laughs> I hadn't seen you in about three months and last night you came up and just goosed me yeah you put delicate fingers on my buttocks I know you said you couldn't you didn't under you didn't I know was who like, it was either this is an actual sex predator or someone who cares deeply about me because <laughs> if it was just like some comic that I barely know who was drunk they would have like squeezed real hard or slapped but you came up like oh hello he like that. <laughs> good, morning. Yeah. good morning yeah good morning <laughs> sweetie afternoon but I was I thought that was very cool though when you opened for TJ that way. Yeah, that was fun. A lot of people were furious. <laughs> and I was like, you don't have the balls to do this. Were people mad? Yeah, and I was like, well, you can be mad at him, but just because you're a coward doesn't mean he is not cool. Yeah, well, thank you, Sam. Yeah. Oh, I've had your back in a lot of times, even when it wasn't popular. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how, I think I would, I mean, I had friends in Denver. I think I'd be yeah. fine and... If I came back, I've gone to the Comedy Works a couple times. Of course you'd be fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's my city. I give you a pass. I know. Yeah. Yeah, the first, the best show I think, Casey, I've still ever seen was the show he was doing with Nathan, the Lucha Libre and Laughs, where they have a whole wrestling match going uh -huh. on. And Sam and Nathan are just so funny as the commentators. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I know when you think, when you hear commentator, you go back to Boise. <laughs> Yeah. And you think about those, those Idaho golds yeah. that are just paved the streets with. What, you talking about French fry? <laughs> <laughs> Don't I dress it like French fry? <laughs> and I'm going to say to Casey, I think I've sent your clips more than anyone. I send your clips to so many people. Oh, say, thank This you. is exciting. This is fun comedy. You guys are both very exciting comedians. And I'm really glad you guys found this platform to be together. Well, you're sweet. Yeah, it's, well, it's been a pleasure. Casey's yeah. ass doing it with oh, me. Thank yeah. you. I know. I was blown away the first time I saw Casey. I was like, it's oh crazy. my God. I know. And also, dude, after seeing you in Boise when you were like, you know, you haven't figured out whatever you're doing now. Uh -huh. I would be interested. I'd just be curious. It'd just be interesting to see that. Are there any clips Those or clips anything? are buried on a laptop in yeah, the maybe. desert like a pedophile's computer. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I froze drive the heart. Fro yeah, they're gone. Uh, <laughs> Look how hard what? it is for him to take a compliment. <laughs> yeah. He totally fritzed out. <laughs> He's never had that. Yeah. He doesn't get compliments. Well, I froze drive the hard men, so <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. <laughs> you still got it, kid. <laughs> you know Casey's 48 years old? Yeah, I'm getting... He just yeah. got his birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah his birthday. Right. isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. I, have inter I have interstellar's disease where every like month is like nine or ten years or yeah. something. But so. he says he does the bangs... Uh, to cover the wrinkles. That's or, right. Because once yeah. he doesn't have bangs, he'll have to get Botox. Yeah. E, I thought the that. interstellar thing you were talking about, maybe you just go in people's places and do the <laughs> book off the book stuff. Uh -huh. Good morning. That was scary in that movie. Oh, I know. Where they're trying to communicate from other time periods. I could, never, I could never finish that movie. Murph. Yeah. The oh, daughter's oh, name. An awful one. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on Botox? My wife gets it every now um, and then. I can't wait. 
Yeah. I think I'm at an age where I'm ready to freeze my face and not have any emotion. Sure, yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> You're kidding. It's not adding anything. It's just freezing. Danny Brown's girlfriend does it. I'm going to go to her. Way to out her. Way to dox her. And she's a 17 year professional. I'm glad you didn't say year old. 17 year old professional. This is a little early. For it. <laughs> yeah, but lip injections, that's not what we're talking about, Gant. That's not what we're doing. Not here. adding, just freeze paralyzing. Yeah. yeah, filler is no good. I, I mean, hey. Ladies and fellas and people want. without gender, do whatever you want. But but also it moves and it looks silly. It looks bizarre. Isn't it botulism they're shooting into you? Botulism toxin. Oh, is it really? That's what Botox is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that that's scary. paralyzes mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Is it the toxin doing the paralyzing? Why don't you think okay, about it for I'll two think seconds, about it for William? Two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> and what did, what's, what's your epiphany now? <sighs> that it's... You thought they just pumped cock in there. <laughs> Isn't that what they do to the people down in other countries for the Brazilian Here we lists? go. Here we go. Wet cement. Yeah. Wet cement in that thing. Mm -hmm. Wet cement in that dirty that's old thing. That's my favorite Dan Brown song. <laughs> Wet cement in that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Bag full of sand. Gets my gland, man. <sighs> I've been rapping. I know. I forgot. The, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's crazy that you don't care about the ways I express myself. Stop. What are those? Two elf bars? Yeah. <laughs> I need yeah, yeah. one for each hand. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're gripping them for dear life. <laughs> I remember I finally... Like Slimer. <laughs> <laughs> I remember finally being able to do the Lucha Libre and Laugh show, and I stayed up the whole night before doing drugs. <laughs> and I felt like the set didn't go well after, and I was like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the wrestlers still talk about that. That was the worst thing to ever happen in that ring. And we had a yeah, kid like die. A set. Oh, kid somebody literally broke died. his neck and died in front of 400 people. And still people are like, God, when that redheaded freak that looks like the Lorax got in there. People still talk about it. Yeah. I wish you didn't tell me. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you just like Google Denver comedy, that's the first thing that pops up. Okay, well, good to know. Mm -hmm. Man-child beefs it. <laughs> I think that's what the press... <laughs> Total biff job. <laughs> yeah. He squeefed his own funk. It was bad. Yeah, I don't remember that, actually. I'm sure it went well. Oh, you don't? Yeah. Yeah, it was really bad. Yeah. Whoa. Did uh -oh. Casey have a quick list for us? I got a quick... I can shoot a list out. He made oh, a list you? for you, Sam. <laughs> he heard you like lists. I heard you, you love listicles. Yeah. <laughs> Man. It's my favorite... Ickle. <laughs> Listicles. Popsicle is mm -hmm. my favorite. Um, Icicle's pretty good too. Icicle. It's the worst flavor Still of popsicle though. You. I know. Is They're that how is that how dangerous. Interstellar ends? Yeah, the lady yeah. gets done by the icicle. Oh my god. It's a perfect crime because no way it melts. I know. That's why I have all those frozen bullets for my shotgun. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. That's genius. Ice pellet. Damn. <laughs> Well, as many of you know, I've been making a lot of enemies recently, <laughs> and <laughs> I was thinking last night about my top four most obnoxious enemies, uh -huh. and here they are. Okay. I'm going to do them really quick, and then I will allow you to ask me questions about whichever ones you want. I can't wait. Okay. Yeah. Here's my top four enemies. Number one, Mr. Midnight. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? A trombone player? <laughs> Mr. Midnight. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Midnight is... Here we go. No, okay. Get through it, Casey. It's all right, buddy. <laughs> you got the rain. Mr. That's Mr. Midnight. No, it isn't. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. a scary Midnight. enemy. Yeah. yeah. Gosh. Very scary. And um, that's not a pork pot <laughs> hat. That's another kind of... That's another kind of hat he That's just got. That's the guy you put on a baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Some silly well, baby. Also, yeah. he's a master of disguise. Grant, show him the other version of Mr. Midnight. So, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> There's several Mr. Midnight. Wait, is this what he usually looks like? <laughs> we'll never know. Yeah. What is he normally. <laughs> it just, it could go either way with a guy like that. Wow. There's no way to tell. <gasps> Mr. Midnight is probably the most egregious enemy Absolutely obnoxious. VP of sales for Mulligan and Sons. Uh, hard to be around. And then, of course, his daughter, Megan Midnight. Throw Megan up there. Megan. <laughs> Megan Midnight. 
She's a she's Whoa. ridiculous. She's like, yeah. she's a talent scout for the McGill brothers. Wait, she and, worked for McGill Bros? Yeah, she works for McGill and Sons. Dude. That's interesting. That's yeah. huge. I didn't. Yeah, Do you I guys, didn't realize. I know her personally. Do they rep you guys? They rep me. Yeah, Casey. <laughs> I was <laughs> trying to get William in, but I know it's some weird thing. Yeah, it's not working. It's like a list system, so like it's one man out, one man in. So we have to wait for someone else to stop doing it or pass away. Or pass away, unfortunately. Could happen. Yeah, for sure. Happens all the time. <sighs> Got my no. fingers crossed. We got our fingers crossed. It's hopefully some things will change pretty soon. Yeah. So what's up with Megan Midnight? Megan Midnight. Um, she follow she follows in her father's devious footsteps. Um, she um, yeah, she works for the McGill brothers. She's <coughs> impervious to sound. And she, so she can't hardly hear. Yeah. She, night and day, she slaves away on that damn seamstress ma- machine. Yeah, yeah, look at that. We call it a sewing machine, typically. <laughs> yeah, but. I call it the seamstress I didn't, Wait, muscle. are you saying that that machine makes more seamstresses? <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. They start That's really small. devious. It is pretty super devious. devious. And they have no minds of their own. She's basically like the queen bee, and they all just feed off her thoughts. Like yeah, she's like multiple mind. man. Multiple Jamie Madrox. Man. <laughs> Jamie Madrox multiple man Don't get me started If no. you think Mr. Midnight's scary <laughs> Well this is a different episode Wait to hear about M- Mr. Mad- Madrox Yeah yeah. He's also devious Oh yeah Are they ever gonna make another one of those? Devious man? Madrox series <laughs> Oh I hope so I have a spec script in They make Seriously? devious yeah. men every mm-hmm. day Well who, are, who else is on your list? Miss Charlotte <laughs> Miss Charlotte up. <laughs> Miss Charlotte is so rude. That's Miss Charlotte. Oh, Ooh. yeah. So she runs the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, and <laughs> she won't let any boys drive this season. What? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> she won't let Crazy any boys she has drive. that power. Yeah. They They've just, been training their whole lives. I know. And, and she will, well, she'll let us use the track because I do it too. And she'll <laughs> let us use the track, but only when it's really late at night and there's no fans. Oh, oh yeah. Shit. Well, that's easy when you're driving. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. I work really hard. Hard at it. <laughs> Look at Mr. Midnight. He's just so not happy to be alive. And it was so interesting that other, he really is a master of disguise because that other picture almost looked like a whole other person. Looked like an Armenian man almost. Yeah. Look, I don't want to blow the lid off this, hmm. but Mr. Midnight is in all three of these photos. That's how good he is. God. Yeah, and they're just, is that Mr. Midnight in all three photos? He's in, just your enemy you five for, times over. And William, I don't want to break it to you guys, but. but I am also Mr. Midnight. I pull off my face. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Look, it's me, Mr. Midnight. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I didn't know without the hat. Oneshi san. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oneshi san. I wish we had Gant was on that and it, he put it over my face. That would have been huge. Damn. Yeah. Great. Anyway. We'll work on that yeah, in the we'll next minute. <laughs> well, mm. we're working on it. I only have one more, one more devious enemy. Oh no! <laughs> oh shit! I've been revealed. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! My true form. What is it? The Sprint Cup series? Yeah, she does the Four Sprint Cup. So cup. it's not rally cars. You can still do rally car, but Sprint Cup. If you want to get in, you'll basically have to be like a girl and have a foreplay hat. And have a foreplay hat. Yeah, and wear some sort of. Sexy green job. I like that she's like in favor of play though. Yeah. Like that's not like the sex yeah. for play. Oh, for Yeah. Play. Yeah, she's for play. Yeah. yeah. She's like, have at it. Oh, I've seen the yeah. anti play shirt. Mm hmm. Yeah. Play some yeah. I mean, yeah, play some what are how are you guys gonna like get back on the track? Well, we're basically just gonna have to start a petition to try to get her ousted. Yeah, those always work. Yeah, we've seen you that. Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> you gotta start somewhere. <laughs> the bureaucracy in this country. Well, if we all threaten a walkout, we're gonna plan a big walkout at the um, the six cup six hundred. I don't want to tell you how to eat your breakfast, but maybe a drive out would be better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that would be more. Car- yeah, cars. Yeah, and you can have the cars back when you think of us a little higher. When you think of us a little better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring back some cookies or something. I mean, I don't want to be rude, <laughs> but I can't think of anything more scary than a bunch of women driving. No, we're 600. That's, yeah, it's like interstellar. That's scary. 500 chicks out there on the track pushing metal. Miles. Yeah. Oh. 600 miles. Yeah. Petrified. From nowhere. Yeah. 600. <laughs> the race to nowhere. 600 mm-hmm. miler. Scary. And I've only made actually one more devious enemy recently. Okay. Hmm. And it's the ghoul of Mahul Al. 
it's, it's, yeah. it's the Ghoul of Mogulau <laughs> Bridge. Um, so this is That's the Ghoul of Mogulau Bridge. Yeah. Um, Quit saying it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's it's gonna a show up. Twister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like a uh, Jeepy Creepy type thing, like Jeepers Creepers or Beetlejuice, but instead Jeepers of... Creepers is scary, because you know what that guy did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he had he sex did. with a little boy. Yeah, he was The like, guy who yeah. played Jeeper? No, the director. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the guy Don't besmirch Jeeper. <laughs> okay, the direct. who's the director? Yeah, some guy who is like, yeah. he did time, and then they were like, oh, you didn't tattle on anyone? You're going to do Jeepers Creepers now. <laughs> Yeah, the boy grew up to be cheaper and scraper. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us about Magool the yeah. Ghoul. So the, the Ghoul of Mahul Owl Brid yeah. is this uh, devious bastard. He was once an investment banker, but he turned to a life of crime at a very young age. Yeah. Abandoned by his family, the Ghoul of Mahul Owl Bridge um, started basically just doing whatever he wanted without any repercussions for his actions. Yeah, that's how that works. Until he fell into a big vat of poison. What? Yeah. And by the get, bridge? By the bridge, under yeah. the Mahulal Bridge. Yeah, that's where they keep it. It sounded like Batman until you got to the part, that part. Yeah, and it <laughs> totally warped his skin, made it look like oak tree. So now his, his back of his legs have these sharp spikes that can penetrate any sort of flesh or hide. No, dude. Even a rhino skin. That's How does he even fair. sit down in a chair? He hardly can. Look how ripped his legs are. Yeah, his uh, best friend's a yeah. crocodile, and his mom's a fucking owl. <laughs> and um, <laughs> these huge hooves on his head and feet. And, uh, yeah, basically can't even speak any human dialect, just growls and slashes car tires. That must have made it difficult to be a businessman. It was at first. Or was that a repercussion of the poison barrel? That was that was via poison barrel. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. And that's why I tell you, whenever you cross a bridge, you look both ways. Yeah, well, I'm still not. I know. It sucks. <laughs> People care about you now. I'm still not doing it. Think about Selden. What if his big bro fell in a poison barrel know. and ended up having a trunk for a body? <laughs> He's going to get QB sneaked again. He's going to do it on himself. Guess what? Take another sip. Nuh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nuh-uh. Yeah. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Wait, so, so what if somebody's by the bridge? Just go around? Don't go over the bridge? Um, yeah, well, it depends. He only hangs out there, like, Monday through Friday. On the weekends, he goes on the road. So weekends, if you're <laughs> yeah. in the area. What's he, what's he do on the road? <laughs> <laughs> Is he in Guar? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he was in Guar. Yeah. And then, so yeah, the lead singer state. passed away, and he got totally disenchanted with yeah. the whole process. I get That's it, sad. man. It's tough when you lose a friend. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah, he just goes on the road to kind of, like, spread. He does Meals on Wheels. Oh, it's <laughs> yeah. really sweet. It's like a Sour bad. Patch no. Kid. It's yeah. not all bad. Kind of sour yeah. on the outside and sweet on the inside. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and also created in a vat of poison. Yeah. Yeah. Stop eating those things if you're eating them. Knock it off. Yeah. His blood is made of Zyklon B. And his, Interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's totally the, the twisted. Nazi chemical Zyklon B. What a whimsical time we were having. <laughs> until you revealed that his blood is made of the genocide <laughs> chemical. Wow, Casey. God, we don't work blue on this pod. <laughs> well, it is what it is. Wait, hold on. Well... Yep. And Casey, thank you so much for... Be careful! I'll try. You need to quit looking people in the eye. You need to start looking up here, because that's how this happens. Yeah, be careful. You look a master disguised in the eye, he's not going to be your friend. That's true. I yeah. let you down every day of the week. I know. Oh, so out of these four, who do you think is the scariest? Mr. Midnight. For sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. Mr. Midnight. <laughs> yeah. He'll inseminate your crew. <laughs> yeah, whole yeah. squad getting pregnant. Yeah. And his daughter. And his daughter. Oh, no. Her. Stop it. Stop it, Gant. Grant. Secrets exposed. All right, Sam. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. I had no choice. You begged me. I know. Well, thank you for... <laughs> no, I, when, I asked, when I asked you, you said, of course. So I'm glad to be here. Got you some happy checks because it's almost Easter. Wow. And I know you're a big JC guy. I am, man. Yeah. Uh, I can't go back to Marshall's. So JC Penny's all I got. Yep. No, I meant Jesus. Oh, yeah. You mean but also Jay -Z You mean you mean S O G? Yeah. Son of God. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Happy chicks. Easter. <laughs> Been married eleven years. I haven't seen one of these in a while. <laughs> 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 you know what sucks about these is I have to chew them with my front teeth. Really? What I can't use my molars on them. I had to sell them. They're not there. No. Damn. Mm -hmm. When do they stop on your when do your teeth stop? <laughs> um. 
I have six on this side, mm -hmm. and there's two over here. And the bottom is actually just the bones from my jaw. Mm. Mm. You just said you mind putting a couple more over there? You just put them over there? Yeah, I like to put them up there like jaw. Sure, yeah. yeah a couple of Zen packs. <laughs> like I'm on an airplane. Yeah, I've been doing those a little again. Mm-hmm. Look at me. I know yeah, little jaw in there. There you go. It's me, William's grandpappy. <laughs> it's me, Ova P. Taffy. <laughs> My grandfather recently fell down in Vicksburg. <laughs> Been there, dude. <laughs> Vicksburg's a slippery spot. Yeah. Yeah. Keep grandpappy out of Vicksburg. Yep. We're trying. All we right, all Sam. Right. I don't know. Oh. I think he's fine. I don't know. You guys want any of these? Come and get them. <laughs> 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 Can't see it on cam, but. You're doing it with your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Sam, where can people <laughs> where can people find you? You can find me at the racetrack over there in Murfreesboro. Okay. I've been selling Middle the hot Tennessee. dogs. Yeah, Middle Tennessee. Yeah, kind of close to the uh, RC Cola factory. Oh, cool, yeah. You know about By it. the Moon Pie. Moon Pie. Yeah. Darnberry Downs. Darnberry Dandy. Yeah. <laughs> Darn, Darnberry Dandy. Dandy. <laughs> and if you want to enjoy more of my irreverent humor, I have a podular cast that William did, even though he didn't have a microphone at the time, and it made us very worried. Uh, Via phone. Chubby Behemoth. Love Chubby the name. Behemoth. Me and Nathan Lund, your former lover. Yep. Um, we have a podcast, and you can follow me on Instagram, at Sam Talent. Cool. We'll oh, hey, also... Oh. If you're listening to this in New York City, March 30th, uh, Union Hall, second show added, please. And then Philadelphia, 419 at Helium. I want them to sell those out so they'll have me back. Cool. Thank love you. it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye, them. Bye. 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 God, that was the least fun I've ever. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737-471-1098. Never miss an episode of the William Montgomery Show by subscribing to the William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas, every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at iBrettMyPants. This episode of the William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.